Hello YouTube, Amazing Graham here, bringing you Pokemon Soul Silver Walkthrough Part 3. Uh, sorry for the lack of uploads recently, I've been seriously ill and back to school. Like, all kind of seriously ill, I kind of tried to record this video a few days ago. <coughs> and my throat's like, feeling like it's closing in. So, I don't upload anything too sloppy, so... I cancelled it, and um... Seeing I haven't had a video for days now. I thought, whatever, I'm doing it, no matter what. I'll try my best, but my throat is killing. Anyway, um, this is going to be our newest member of our team, Pidgey. Uh, it's level 4, this one, so it's pretty good. It's male. Um, for me, this is... Th this is the Pokemon you want early on, to be honest, because... You know, <laughs> you catch it at an early stage, for one. And that... It's like fully evolved, it's really powerful. And for a Pokemon you get early on, it's brilliant. So we'll try to catch this Pidgey. I've got a nickname for it already, and that's through playing on my DS. It's not really a creative nickname, it just sounds pretty funny, so that's why I like it. <coughs> Alright, so we caught the Pidgey. Common in grassy areas and forests, it is Dock Island and will chase off enemies by flapping up sand. Yes, I have got a nickname for my Pidgey. <laughs> I just love this nickname. So, the nickname I have for my Pidgey is... Flyma. I don't know why, it learns to move fly as its HM. And Flyma just sounds pretty cool, so. Oh, anyway, we're now in Cherry Grove City, I'm just going to heal up. So, whilst we took that pause, I was having a coughing fit. Oh, this is bad. Right, anyway. Um, you can now go in the Pokemon. Pokemon. My voice went there. And you can buy yourself a heal ball and airmail there. None of that I recommend, and here you can now buy Pokeballs. Now, I'm just going to buy like, 10 of these. You, Oh, you do get the Premier Ball on this, fair enough. I'm going to buy 5 potions. <coughs> okay, let's go. I might come again, depends how I feel. Alright, let's head north. And Flyma gets a bit of good experience. Might actually kind of um, take the run and choose off. Uh, there's a little button on this game where you can click it off. You won't be able to see it it's on the bottom screen. But um, yeah, if you're not running, you're less likely to walk into wild Pokemon. But like, obviously it's slow. I guess I can always hold the run button. Anyway, these two trainers have stopped the battle, this guy won't battle you, so... He talks about power points. Anyway, let's go into our first... Our second trainer battle, actually, because we battled our rival, of course. Okay, youngster Joey, he has a rat ta 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 we choose our flyer, but then switch up to hot stuff. Who got critical-hitted in, um... Wild Pokemon battles a minute ago, which is kind of annoying. Jesus Christ. And I had to use a potion on Flyver a minute ago. <coughs> Alright, yeah, so like I said, we're, we're, we're sharing trainer battles, but like, when there's a massive roll, I'll probably just like cut some out. If you know what I mean. Obviously you don't want to see me battling for ages. Anyway, that guy's ratatata is that I have never been able to say that name really. Uh Pidgey used to learn a second move, sand attack. And youngster Joey is defeated. Sit down. They want to get your number. I'd advise to say no to everyone because they're really annoying. 
Well, it's kind of funny, but they ring you up saying how they've caught their Pidgeys and stuff, and it's like, oh my god. We don't want to hear about your Pidgeys, dude. Anyway, this guy sends out his Pidgey and Flymer will definitely be able to take this out. Seeing Flymer's three levels ahead of this thing. Oh, he's taking him out in one hit. Critical hit. How lucky. Almost level six now, and he sends out his Ratatata. Ratatata. Let's see how much that actually does. Six. Ooh, one more tackle by me and that's him out. He uses tail. See you later. Sit down. Flymer is in the zone. Now up to level six. And almost level seven. Flymer, you are my beast of the day. Anyway, moving straight on. Let's go, I don't think battles you. No, she's not a trainer. But if you look into people's eyes who are trainers, you are a mass battle. Of course, bug catchers. You can avoid some of these trainers by just going in the wild grass, but this early on, I advise battling as many trainers as you possibly can. We're just kind of waiting for Flymer to land Gus. Another Pokemon good to catch early on is Geodude, uh, a really good rock type. I'd rather a Geodude than an Onyx to be honest, because um, Onyx you can't evolve unless you trade with another game, and that's to a Steelix, but Steelix is good. But you can at least uh, get a Graveler out of Geodude. And Geodude is like a bit easier to find and stuff like that, so that's all good. Yeah, okay, Flymer is ripping everyone apart here. Pretty much, I'm going through the game with my DS. Well, that's what I've been doing whilst I've been like not uploading recently. Just been like <laughs> at school, obviously, and just playing my DS really, just doing my homework. Um, school kind of does take priority, but um, once I do my homework and study a bit. There's no reason why I can't just hop on and make a video, edit and stuff, but like, I, like you lot like me know, I do a lot of sport, so it's not always that easy for me to upload regularly. Level 5 Weedle. Alright, so here there's the dark cave. If you come in here, you won't be able to see a thing until you get the move. TM flash. What the hell I can see. Ah. Uh, I don't need flash. That is just weird. Maybe that's just my sentence, but uh, if you were playing on DS, um, you'd see nothing until you run into a Pokemon. There's a Geo dude you can find, and you can also find Zubats in here. Uh, Zubat is actually an underrated Pokemon, if you ask me. I know it knows Leech Life, but seriously, once it learns like Wing Attack and stuff like that, it's a very good Pokemon, and Golbat and Crobat are ace. Anyway, let's move on. Got a trainer here. What have we? Here's an Apricorn tree. A black. Apricorn. Alright, and then there's a bug catcher down here. Well, I'll just go get the item first. And you can get a Pokeball down here, so that's all very good. And let's go into battle. <coughs> oh, so this guy has starts off with a level 2 Caterpie. This all should be pretty easy for Flymer. This battle you shouldn't really struggle against. Like, Caterpies. Uh, uh, Weedles are better than Caterpies. I mean, Weedles, no poison sting, which can get highly annoying. You can get poisoned by them. And yeah, that's always very annoying. Caterpies, they use String Shot, which lowers your speed. So that is also very annoying. Anyway, another level 2 Caterpie. 
That's pretty easy for a uh, newly caught Pidgey. Who is doing very well at the moment, which I'm happy with. Okay, yep. 2 HP and no more special attack. And Pidgey's quite a quick Pokemon as well, so. Quick Pokemon are always good in the game. Good to have. Anyway, let's continue. Level 3 Weedowusses, and there's the poison. So, once Flymer uh, beats this Weedle, I'm probably going to switch to my hot stuff for his final Pokemon, which is a Caterpie. We don't fly much to die, although it won't be too tragic because we're near the next city anyway. But you know, another level 2 Caterpie, and that's his last member of his team. Pretty easy for hot stuff. I mean, Cyndaquil's awesome. I love Cyndaquil. There we go, tackle, game over. See you later, Caterpie. See you later, Matt. See you later, Bug Catcher Wade. Like I said, no. You're not going to say yeah, but they ring you up, turn you. Alright, Flamma survived the poisoner. Yeah, um, registering people can get highly annoying. They ring you up in the like worst times. And it's just highly annoying. It's kind of fun the first few times, but after a while it gets boring. Hey, look, it's Lyra. Yeah, you knew it was me, did you? And she gives you the verse recorder. You can record Pokemon battles now. Woohoo! Which, that feature I will not be using, but hey ho, let's go. Alright, Violet City. Hello. Right, I'll just give you a quick little tour on Violet City. Let's head in this house here. Alright, so there's two people in here. Uh, this guy will trade a bow sprout for Onyx. Um, Alright, trade I suppose. Um, if you have like a level 10 bow sprout, he'll give you a level 10 Onyx. It will always have a poor nickname and won't always have bags as traded. Here's the Pokemon Jim Falconer. He's a bird type. There's the Pokemon. Here's a little dude with his cap. Ash Catch and Wannabe. <laughs> anyway, in here, there's a Pidgey running around. Hey, Pidgey, Pidgey and Pidgey. Strawberry. Okay. You're not weird or anything, are you? Alright, that leads out of the city. We don't want to go there quite yet. I, I kind of just... Uh, yeah, I did actually. Uh, he's quite a psycho. Anyway, he's like, follow me, and he like spins around. So I lied to him. And he shows you the trainer school here. This is where he studies. In here, everyone's like hardcore advising. Hold it, something, huh? Yeah, I'll make it a group. Uh, let's make a group. Uh, let's call it. Let's call it a group. Let's just call it AG because I can't be bothered to think of anything right now. AG group, huh? That's a great name. Yeah, I hope so too. Right, like the fat guy's over here. Oh no, oh no, you don't want to do that, you don't want to do that, no. If you keep saying yeah, you'll just blabber on for about an hour. These just tell you like stupid little pathetic things. No, I'm joking. If you're new to Pokemon, they help a lot. 
Anyway, Pokemon Center's here, as you know. Cool little fire guy there. Um, last place on our rover is over here. This is called Belt Sprout Tower, and next video we will be exploring this place. Kind of weird. Uh, we'll be cutting out a lot of battles in there because obvious stuff. Um, it's pretty. Whoa! There's like an invisible wall. What's going on here? Did you see that? Alright, so anyway, this will uh, be the end of this video. I'm going to try to sort this out for next time, obviously. Um, this has been Amazing Groudon, and I'm out of here.